Making a bird's mouth mast is a fairly simple process which doesn't require advanced skills. You can use poorer wood and cut out the bad bits. What you end up with is a straight mast that's not likely to warp, and it's quite a bit lighter than a um, solid mast of similar um, diameter. It has the disadvantage that you need either a table saw or possibly a router. The thickness of the wall should be at least 20% of the finished diameter of the mast. This is a setup I use on the table saw to cut uh, the, the pieces. Also, with the blade tilted at 45 degrees, I cut the notch using a similar setup. My mast was made from old pine shelves, and uh, I cut out the knots and re-scarfed the boards together. It uh, doesn't matter very much to the finished mast as long as your joints are well made. It's important not to clamp the joints too tightly, otherwise you starve the joint of glue. I prepared some octagonal rods that fit inside the mast to strengthen uh, the top and the bottom and various parts where I will be screwing uh, attachment. Because I wanted a tapered mast, I took some material off from the side opposite the notch using a block plane. All my materials and clamps are ready and all the sticks are lined up ready for gluing. Using slow set epoxy, I pre-coat the inside face, the notch, and the back uh, face, but not the outside uh, face of the mask. I prepared a batch of thickened epoxy. I'm using silica powder, and I put it in a baggie, cut the end, and use that to apply the glue in the notch. I prepared a little plastic spreader that allows me to spread out the glue inside the notch. Here you can see the little inserts that are going to strengthen various spots inside the mast. It's a bit tricky to get all the bits uh, clamped. Helps to have a second set of hands. What I did was to go at one end, tie it loosely in the round, go to the other end, do the same, and just work through the middle to get everything in position. You gradually put your clamps on and tighten them enough to have some squeeze out, but not starve the, the joints of glue. It's very important not to squeeze out all of the glue. Once the mast is clamped, it's a good idea to go and remove the extra glue that's squeezed out. And once it's had the chance to set, you can remove your clamps and using a plane, uh, take off the extra glue and start rounding off with the little corners. It'll actually go very quickly. Don't use your best plane, it's rough on the, uh, on the sharpening. Using your block plane, you can get quite a round uh, profile. Once that's done, you can go over to, uh, to sandpaper and finish rounding it off. It actually goes quite quickly. I uh, sit down and listen to the radio doing this. At this point, you can finish your mast whichever way you'd like. I uh, made a hole for the halyard and uh, varnished it with countless layers of, uh, of spar varnish. The final step was putting leather where the various parts would rub against each other. Happy sailing!